Hello, this is Bern, and on today's video, I'm going to share with you how to know if a man really loves you. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, driven, and successful women like you how you can attract the kind of quality man that you want and step into the relationship that you've been craving by being the most feminine and the most alive version of you. No need to play gimmicks or manipulate in any way. Now, I'm going to share with you right now seven signs that a man loves you. And I could start by sharing with you that it's in the way he looks at you or how he lights up when you enter the room or perhaps the way he shares in the specific language he uses when he says, I love you. I could start that way, but I'm not going to. Why? Because although I want for the man that you're with to have the clarity of voice to tell you that he loves you and to light up when you enter the room and to express excitement when he sees you, those are signs that don't necessarily mean love. They're awesome when you have them in love, but they could be passion, they could be excitement, they could be hormones without necessarily having the grounding space of sustainable love that you've been seeking. So the first sign that a guy is loving you in action is that he takes the time to get to know you. He's not rushing. He's not going for his one thing and one thing only, having sex with you. He's actually getting time with genuine curiosity, with humility and hunger to get to know you, to get to understand where you're coming from, to get to see and feel who you really are. Second thing he'll do if he loves you is he's going to recognize and celebrate your uniqueness, your quirkness, your weirdness, your that thing that makes you special, that things that some other human beings might look at you and say, oh, I don't want this. He's going to understand who you are. Now, I'm not saying that this is a permission for you to not work on your things, but if there's something that it's not, necess it's not bad, it's just not the most common thing, he recognizes, understands it, and celebrates it, that's a sign that the guy that you're connecting with is stepping into real love in action versus excitement and passion only. Third thing that a guy who really loves you will do is he will stand by you when life gets tough. It's easy to connect with someone when it's a Friday afternoon, sun is shining, uh, you just got your paycheck perhaps that week, and you're feeling happy when, when someone close to you dies, when you get bad news, when you get fired from your job, that's when someone who truly loves you, a man who loves you, will show it in action. Instead of disappearing, running away, doing the next best thing, he's going to hold space for you and stand by you and hold your hand and suffer with you in silence and show you a better way sometimes. Fourth thing a guy who loves you will do is he'll be willing to sacrifice immediate pleasure for more. He'll be willing to not go for that thing that feels the most fulfilling, whether it's with you or another woman, to plant the seeds for a deeper, lasting friendship that will not only stand the test of time, but also be full of meaning and understanding and respect and long-term excitement versus short-term excitement. Fifth thing that a man who truly loves you will do is he's going to share what he wants, what he needs respectfully without making you feel wrong for you being different. The truth is if you connect with a man and you are intelligent and smart and you have a vision for your life and he does too, there's going to be plenty of disagreements and plenty of areas where you don't see eye to eye. The difference between a man who loves you and a man who just wants what he wants for himself is a guy who loves you is going to take the time to understand your perspective. He may not agree with it, but he's not going to make you wrong for feeling that way. If he ever needs to, he'll move away from that situation. But he respects that you are an intelligent human being, that you know what you want, and that he doesn't hold the universal truth of what's right and what's wrong. Sixth thing a guy who loves you will do is he will not settle for a lesser version of you than who he knows you to be in his heart. That means that if you're showing up consistently, every now and then we all show up in weak ways, but if you're consistently showing up in a weaker version of you, he's going to remind you of the truth of who you are. He's not going to stand for that subpar version that you might be showing up as in those moments. He'll understand you, he won't judge you for it, but he's not going to stand for you being less than who you can be. 
Seventh sign that a guy who truly loves you versus a guy who pretends to love you will show is he's not going to hold you hostage. What does that mean? Well, that means that he wants you, he feels passionate about you, he enjoys you emotionally, physically, sexually at all levels. But if what he wants in life is fundamentally different from what you want, he knows it, he's not going to prolong the relationship in a way where you can't get what you want. If we, he can't give you what you want, he's not going to keep you hostage with his love and excitement and passion so that you end up resenting him. He may have to make the deep, deeply painful decision of leaving you. Let's say you want children. That's one of your most important things in life and he doesn't. And he knows that your life would not feel complete without them. Instead of making it better and sweeter, he's going to move forward. If he can't do, if he can't deliver what you want, he's going to move forward and allow you to get what you want instead of pretending that he can and maybe saying, well, maybe I can do it in five years when in reality, inside he knows he can't. Hope this is helpful to you. Hope that you get to understand the difference between real, sustainable, practical, friendly, passionate love versus just the kind of love that's fleeting or that seems to be love, but it's not. If you find that this is helpful for you, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, I want you to, on the first link on the description of this video, click on it and watch a free masterclass that I've created. All you do is you enter your name and email and you'll have instant access. And this class will show you how you can step into the kind of relationship you want. Second thing, if you like this video, click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes as they come up. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you for holding space for this in your life. And I challenge you to not settle for less than love in your life.